Maniac fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Swamp Start series. I'm just doing a quick little beginning to my video of just showing how the save to template features. So we've got a beat up SV here. Uh, we're on the T2 repair bay. We've got the console ready to go. So... We never got to do this last time. I put all the stuff in that it said it wanted. I put a lot more in that it than it said it needed. So we're gonna try this. Uh, hopefully, I repaired it to template before I lost the box. But I, I think I did because it it requires a whole bunch of cobalt stuff. So let's give this a shot. We're gonna do this now. Start the repair. So while it's repairing, I don't think we can go into the area. No. So it blocks us out. Now I'm not sure if it actually repairs the blocks or it just replaces them and we have to do a regular repair after. For the damage blocks? We'll see. Let's see. Because there are damage blocks too. Cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, and we've got our thruster back. We've got the light back. I saw that pop in. Um, it looks like it's still damaged, though, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. It doesn't, the save to template only replaces the blocks. It doesn't repair any, so... Now, we've got to switch this to repair blocks. And it says it's ready to repair, so we're going to do that. Now oh, I see the blocks popping out as it's repairing them. There we go. Okay, so now we should have a a fully restored SV and there we go 100% and all the blocks are back in place so that's how that's done awesome um, we're gonna continue you can see that the CV is really starting to take shape we're gonna continue on putting stuff in there getting getting it all ready unfortunately I'm not painting it yet because like I say I haven't finished upgrading it so it's easier to to paint after it's all upgraded Okay, so we'll continue on with the build in a minute. Okay, so let's keep working on the CV here. Um, I grabbed a whole bunch of, I made up a whole bunch of ammo, and I brought what ammo I looted, and I made up some oxygen. I've got the looted sentry guns, and I made some more. The looted all the ammo boxes. I've got the looted LCD screens. Um, yeah, pretty much everything in here has been looted so far. I've ma I made the repair station because I didn't have one of those, and I made one of the uh, armor lockers. But everything else I've looted so far. So let's lay down the ammo boxes. They're super heavy. So, I'm going to put down one large and two smalls. So, I want that them to balance out. Um, we're going to do it. Let's do the large like this. Like that. And then we're going to put the two smalls right beside it. Just... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now that we have ammo boxes, we can put ammo away. So let's regroup everything here. Uh, ammo boxes. Now we should see what we need. We need 150H MSLs and 150 bullets. So let's do the fill all. And that'll put all the, the 15 mil in. Okay, 
You know, at this point, we could probably fuel it up. So let's do that. That's not going to give us much. 1%. Okay, let's see how much it's going to take. Oh my goodness, it's going to take a lot. Oh yeah, okay, so that was, what, 60-something of the large fusions so far. Yeah, we're into like over 100 now, we're at 60%. Yeah, I guess I could have just done the math, <laughs> since each one has a specific amount to it. Okay, we're just going to fill it right up. Screw it. Go like that. Okay, so that used up a lot of fuel to fill it up. But at idle, well, who knows. Let's just turn this on. So idling, with, with all the gear on idle, we have 108 hours. That's without the thrusters on. Uh, without the turrets and weapons. So let's turn the turrets on. We'll turn oxygen on. No, we don't have any oxygen in it. Turn the thrusters on. And we'll drop significantly. So what's the stats right now? We've got 19 meters a second, 11, 14, 11, and 12. At least we're over the 10 meters a second. At least we're pulling a G. Uh, we need at least... We're going to need more thrust down, though, to get out of high G uh, planets. So, that's okay for now. Uh, we don't need this all turned on, though. We don't really need everything on, so let's just turn the thrusters off. We can turn the turrets and weapons off. Okay, so we've got power. Uh, you know what? Let's fill the oxygen. And what does it say it's going to need? How much is it going to need? Currently in tanks, 30, 36,000. Nice. Needed to fill 6,000. So we have six times more than what we need to fill. Wow, that's going to last a long time. That's good. Okay, so we can, we can turn that on. Although it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Let's just turn that off for now. We're in a, we're in an oxygenated environment, so we don't need to. And then that shut. Okay, so we're going to need to put signals in. And we're going to need to transfer a whole bunch of stuff into the constructors. This is going to be my main constructor. That is going to be the ammo, fuel, oxygen, smelter construction over there. So... I'm going to move a whole bunch of the stuff from the mobile constructors into here to fill up the CV and get it ready for, for to make stuff for us. Because we don't necessarily need the base doing it now, but we have a fully functional CV. So I'm going to do that because you, you guys don't want me to do the uh, house cleaning here on camera. I mean, it's just a bunch of, whoops, come on, I'm aiming right at it, thank you. It's just a bunch of moving, a bunch of this stuff, cleaning that up, putting, I mean, there's not much in there, but the HV has a whole bunch of crap in it, uh, cargo boxes need to be cleaned up, so there's, there's lots of stuff I need to clean up still, so. Um, I'm going to clean up the SV and HV's inventories. I'm going to put stow it into appropriate bins in here. I'm going to put labels, LCD screens, on the bins. And we'll get those organized and we'll get the, all that stowed and put away. And then this thing is pretty much ready to fly. At that point, once I get the LCD screens up and the bins organized, I, I'll get a sensor put up so that that opens 
and the ramp does its thing properly. You can see there's a thruster up there. Yeah, I know that's kind of dangerous, but remember this is this is only the first layer of the roof, so okay. So I will do all that and I'll come grab you when I'm done. Okay, we are back. So let's continue doing the build. You can see that I have put in a bunch of stuff here. I've got my medical area pretty much completed. I don't want to add any more more to it. It's 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 done. It's good. Uh, so we've got the medical food or the medical food processor, a medical fridge. And then over here we have the bar with the uh, uh, regular food processor and a bar fridge. Well, a big, huge fridge for, you know, all the cold beer and stuff. Um, we have some crew quarters. Just, I'm not really happy with the railings here. I'm not, I'm not sure about these. I might change this up for some hardened steel walls or something, the thin, thin walls. Um, got the cockpit area here. I have not put any of the switches or sensors in yet. And I think that's what I want to do here is I want to go put the switch in for the, or the back sensor, I should say, for the um, hangar door and ramp. And I want to put the switch in for the sleep, which is turn everything off except the garden, basically. Uh, and what I mean by the garden is like the fridges, the food processors, and um, the grow lights and oxygen. So I'm going to, I'm going to have a custom switch for that. Turn everything else off. I think I should be able to do it through signals. And I won't have to screw up anything's groupings that way. Okay, so let's do this. We need to make. I don't, you know what? I might. Let's take a look really quick. Since we're right over here, let's, let's open this up. Actually, to tell you the truth, we can put some of the stuff away. I've got a bunch of this all labeled already. CVB, CVB this. I'm going to be putting those in, so the sentry guns are coming up real quick here. Just put those in there. Okay. So I will be putting the CV repair bay in too, but... Oh, I've got two of them, don't I? No, that's the base one. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that. That's fine. We'll make a space base eventually. Okay. Uh, so we need to put the sentry guns on. We also need to make the switches and that. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to see if we actually have any. So let's just take a quick look down here. We'll, we'll look to see if the base has any. I don't remember looting any switches or sensors. I should have. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, I don't see any. Got a good supply of force fields in there, though. That's good. Good, that all turns into a restroom Zascosium if I need it to. Okay, so, well, we make it. We're going to go make it. We need, let's start with, we're only going to need the one sensor. Sensors and signals, sensors, signals, SV. So, and we'll need a switch. So let's make two of these. Okay. So we're going to put a sensor up there. For starters, so I want it light barrier. I don't want a light barrier. Another 
these trap doors. I want a motion sensor. So we're going to have it there. Uh, okay, so let's... Oh, you know what? Do I need to... I should... Before I go too crazy, because I think this will be the last grouping, even though I don't really need to group this. I want to make a switch, right? Just a switch. There we go. Okay. I should put a light beside it to tie into it to signify when it's off and on. Well, I can kind of I can see red and green, right? So that's fine. Okay. Um, now that we got the sensor up, we need to set it. So let's go up to it. I'm going to go into the properties of it here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to do I not name it? Oh no, I don't need to name that. I need to I don't need to name the ramp because it's the only one. Oh, I thought I did need to name this. Uh active signal logic. So I need to make a circuit. So let's make the signal name. <clears throat> um, we'll just call it hangar door. Hangar door, hangar ramp, hangar ramp, back, back ramp, back entry, back entry, aft. Aft ramp. Now, do I do an underscore? An underscore? I think I do. I think I should do an underscore. Aft ramp. No, you know what? I'll do the aft and then ramp. There we go. You know what? I'll do that lowercase too. So aft ramp. Aft ramp. Okay. We don't need to follow aft ramp. Okay, so that's named aft ramp. That's good. We can go to the... Um, Where is it now? Door. Oh, the ramp's there. Let's do the ramp. From what I remember, it, this has to be... Um, this will follow it, and it's got to be inverted. And then... What else? H for hanger door. Yeah, it is. Hanger shutter door. Okay. And follow without it being inverted. Okay, so now we need to set this. We need to get somewhere where we can see Heavy acid rain, of course. Of course it's heavy acid rain. So I want it just in front of the door and out past the ramp, but I don't want it to extend too much wider than the ramp itself. So let's, can we lower this? 
No? Uh, F control plus numpad. And shrink left left control alt control numpad. Okay, so we want left alt. We want to sh shrink that. Oh, it's going that way. Okay. Yeah, but that's right. And then we want to extend that. How do we move it down? How do we get it to go down? There we go. Okay, we want that to go down quite a bit, right? Because when we're standing, oh, I can't fly around while I'm. Uh, that looks like it's, I can't tell. Yeah, let's, let's keep going with that. Just, just, just to be sure. There, now that looks like it's going to the ground. And then we want that extending out more though, right? We, whoops, not that way. Let's come back in. In fact, we want to come in on both those. No, you know what? You know what? We can go out one on each. It's fine. That'll be okay. That way, if we were on the ground, we can step up to it over to the side and jump up. And it'll, it'll be okay. Okay, so now we want that one. Not right to the nose. We need it further. One, two... Three. Let's actually bring this down a bit too. Um, oops, not that. Oh, it's not going to let me. Huh. Okay. It's got to be, it's got to let me, right? Come on. That goes that way. That goes that way. It won't go any more that way. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much, I'm not sure if I need to go that much. Let's pull that back a bit. Mm, actually, one more. There we go. Okay, I think that should work. That's fine, coming in, flying in. It'll catch, a it'll be all open by the time I level out. That's fine. And how's the width on that? That looks all fine. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay. So let's see what happens. And it didn't follow. Oh yeah, heavy acid rain. That was smart. Let's not run out. Ah, heavy acid rain. I can't test it. Okay, but it's not working anyway. So why is it not working? I totally gimped up on the 
circuit logic, didn't I? Um, or did I not turn it on? It's on. I shouldn't have to follow itself. Right? It's something. Lock, unlock. Open, close. Lock, unlock. I'll have to look at why this isn't... I had this working before, it's just a, a two and. So if I, if I go like this, toggle. It'll toggle itself off and on. No, because then it. Say that didn't work. That was stupid. Oh, did I do it to the wrong thing anyway? I probably did it to the wrong thing. Brilliant. I'm just looking it up right now. Okay. And, oh, God, I just saw what time it is. So, well, we're almost out of time. <laughs> but you can see, we uh, I'll, I'll finish this up. I'll finish up the circuit. I'll get that working. And it'll be pretty much ready to go. You know what? We'll quickly, we'll just quickly throw these down. I've got them on me, right? So let's do this. So I want one somewhere like right, well, I don't know, say right there. So this one matching it. there and then we're going to come out of it in one and oops In one, four more. We're gonna do. See, I'm gonna be doing a turret here, probably. Well, no, I won't. We'll do in one, in one. Okay, and then. Got two more. Two more. Let's do. Let's protect the uh, the hatch, maybe. Well, those ones back there will protect the hatch, 
but maybe even more. Maybe we can go like this and go like that. Yeah. And that. Okay. Well, that's a lot of guns underneath on its belly. That's eight guns. That is now going to need a whole bunch of maintenance and ammunition and all that fun stuff. So let's you know what we don't have anything that we don't have to break the group on yet so that's fine although I don't want them all in their own groups I'm going to be making their own groups so I can do that off camera I'll make I'll put all the turret types in their own groups and then make individual custom switches for them. And I'll get the signal logic working for the rear door. And yeah. Uh, next episode, we should be able to take this thing and we should go pay the radar station a visit. Are we ready? Are we ready for the radar station? We might be. We might be. I've got the weapons belt. I've got the CV belt. We're going to take it for a spin. And if it's worthy, we're going to take it over there. And we're going to start on the uh, radar station. Whew. So progression. We're making progression. So what level are we? We are level 23. Um, what how close are we? Oh, we're not that close. Okay, so we still got a over a level and a half before we're 25th. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm gonna call it an episode. Uh, you can see this thing is pretty much ready to go. I just a couple little fine touches, then I will blueprint it and uh, that'll allow me to tweak it off camera and, uh, and then I can continue on. Well, that'll allow me to, um, keep it at a fairly de decent level. Oh, it's class three. How did that happen? Whoops. 11,000 iron. 15,000 Sathian, over 1,000 copper, over 1,000 silicone, 4,000 Neo, 2,200 cobalt. Whoops. We got a little pricey. It's only level 15, though. And realistically, the Arrestrium Zascosium on it is not that bad. The Neo, that's a little disappointing that, it, that there's that much Neo on it. That's kind of too bad. That could be difficult to get. This, this isn't necessarily a be able to build from a starting planet resource CV. But a short hop, skip, and a dunch, uh, dunce. <laughs> That's a hop, skip, and a jump away with an SV. You might get enough Neo and Sath to finish it off. So I might have to go do that too. I was kind of not wanting to. I think we can fly there with this thing and warp anyway. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need to take the SV. Anyway, next episode, we'll take the CV out and see how it does. Till then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.